What's up, everybody? Hawaii's only Chef Khaled. Today we got a special guest, Jasmine. She got us an Inui. A lot of people have been talking crap about this fish and saying it tastes junk. So we're going to show you what the Nainui hack is all about. Stay tuned. We have Jasmine here today. She is actually my wife's friend. She's going to tell us a little bit about herself. But she's an exotic dancer here at a nightclub in Honolulu, Oahu. Um, Jasmine, tell us a little bit about yourself. What do you do at the exotic club? <laughs> no, she's actually she's actually a nurse. She's saving lives. But don't laugh too hard um, because there's nothing wrong with exotic dancers. No, there's not. Okay, just, we just want to put that out there. You know, all these people will get sensitive these days, okay? So, um, Jasmine's a nurse. Jasmine, tell us about this Nainui. How did you catch it? So, I went shore fishing and I casted my line and I got this. Nainui. What What were you using for bait? Bread. Bread. You just told them the secret. What? You said to say I was using um I was using some corn meal from the corn dog that we get from Safeway. Uh, you don't tell everyone the bread. Okay, so when you put the bread on the hook, was it on a lead or was it on a floater? Floater. Oh my gosh, she's telling all the secrets. There you have it, guys. Bread, floater, and catch yourself some nainui. Okay. When you caught it, did it go like zzz, 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 or did it just like nah, 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 nah? No, it went. This is, this is. It did. It fought. It was so it was good fun. Yeah. Okay, because this is a nice size one. So these get up to like I don't know five, six, seven pounds, but there's no size limit on this guy because um, Nainui is not a very popular fish for um or not say it's popular. It's actually super popular, but they are so abundant that they're everywhere. So you can actually there's no size limit on these guys. Anyone can catch them. Anyone can eat them, which is what we're gonna do here today. Okay, so Jasmine, do you know how to break down or fillet a fish? No. Okay, so you already cleaned it, which is great. And we're going to teach you guys how to clean fish on another video. But Jasmine already cleaned it. So what we're going to do is show you guys how to fillet it and break it down. There's basically three cuts when you do a fillet. And it, it, there's so many ways to do this, but I want to teach you a really simple way. It's just one cut here from head to stomach. One cut from the back here. And then one cut from the belly. Once those three cuts are piled, you're gonna take your knife and just slide it from here, tail to head, and then we're gonna get a fillet. Okay, so the first cut is here from the head. Down, just like that. And then we're gonna trace the fish here. So there's a, um, the back of the fish right here. There's these fins that we just follow. And nice, long, slow strokes, take your time. And all the way to the tail. Then we're gonna do the same thing with this bottom fin right here, right into the belly. Okay, and we're gonna trace it all the way up to the tail, just like that. Okay. So we have the outline, we have one, we have two, and three, it's the outline. Now what we're gonna do is actually, uh, let me flip this here for the camera. We're gonna take our knife and insert it here and we're kind of gonna lift up the skin a little bit and the meat and slide this knife right along the bone. And what, to, what, what that's gonna do, it's gonna remove the flesh from the bone just like this. Oops. See, so we got the bone here and we got the meat here. We're gonna do that to this side as well. Flip it over so you can see. And then we're gonna take our knife and slide it all the way through. Okay. So we got our cut, we have our cut, we have our belly cut, and then now we just take our knife, insert it from the tail, and you can kind of lift her up like that. And now all we're gonna do is slide all the way from the tail to the head. And it removes the fillet, just like that. Beautiful, yeah? So there's a little bit of bone 
Yeah. And a little bit of ribs, which is okay. We'll cut through that in a little bit. So that's a good first mark. And then, yeah, we're working on our second mark. And just take your time. Just okay, go nice, slow. Beautiful. Oh, well, Brad, you get them. You're good. But what you want to do is your blade is a little up and down like that. Just kind of bring your blade down, and then that way you can get the slice. Okay, now you're going to flip this guy around here. And you're going to... There's a, a cavity right here. So you're going to start with a knife here, and you slowly bring it down here to get your third mark. Okay, now I use a tip to kind of just, yeah, yeah there, you, there you go. Right, yeah, you're a pro. Yep, put it flat, yep. And then go ahead and just all the way towards the head. Keep it flat on the fish, yep, and push. That's it. There's a little bit of bone and ribs, so you're going to cut right through that. There you go. Just keep going, yeah, you got him. Okay, and then, yep, cut right through that because it's a rib, so just cut right straight through. There you go. A little bit of an angle and you're good to go. Cause that bone is hard, yeah. Okay. You did it. She did it. Check it out. <laughs> That's her side. That's my side. So for a first timer, this is like nine out of 10 right there. I, that's, that's beautiful. This is called high yield. Okay. I got our Nenui fillets all cleaned up. And so now what we're going to do is we're going to chop up some fish for poke, do some onions, the inamona, and I'm going to show you guys how to put this thing together. Okay? You ready? You can chop onions. And you can choose your weapon. Which one do you want? I like the kumu. Kumu. There you go. Me. I'm a man ass. I use this one right here. My cleaver. That cleaver. Oh, so Jasmine, tell us a little bit about uh, where you're from. I'm from California. Boo! Boo, howly! Just show your show. Okay, you're from California. Sorry. <laughs> and where in California are you from? So I'm from Boo! Oh, no, no, just joking. You're joking. You're such a mouth. Okay, wait, you're from San Francisco? No. Oh, whoa, what's wrong with San Francisco? We don't like each other. Really? Yeah. Okay, wait, where are you from? Sorry, again. Where are you from for real? I'm not going to boo. From Ventura. Ventura. That's like the uh, movie Ace Ventura. Is that where that movie was based out of? I don't know. <laughs> that, she might be a little bit too young for that movie. <laughs> Jim Carrey, guys, okay? Ace Ventura, pet detective. Okay, so Ventura, is that like a um, high-end place to like live? Like, very expensive? No, it's like a ghetto place. To live. It's, a, it's it's pretty it's pretty nuts. Okay, okay. It's next to the beach. Got a lot of Mexicans. Mexicans. And yeah. uh, what is your ethnicity? Mexican. You're Mexican, not Spanish. No. Okay. What's the difference between Mexican and Spanish? For everyone who doesn't know the difference. Um, Spanish people are from Spain. Uh huh. Mexican people are from Mexico. Got it. And the language you speak is? Spanish. Hmm. <laughs> That is really interesting. Okay, okay, you don't speak Mexican. No. Ah, uh, no. Okay. I'm not talking no more. No, you're doing great. This is all part of it. And that's enough green onions, by the way. Okay. <laughs> Let's do, um, can you cut the red onion for me? Yes. Okay. You done with the jokes. You don't know. I'm gonna get us a bowl. A Mexican bowl. That's why you drink before. That's why you drink before. This has been a lot of fun, Jasmine. We're having fun. I, I told everyone on YouTube, we're still rolling. I told everyone on YouTube that she's an exotic dancer. Stage name, Senoritas. Okay, no, if you had a stage name, what would it be? I don't know. Whoa, whoa, what you doing with that onion? I was going to cut it. Cousin, we're making poke, not stew. Shut okay. Up, Shut up! I'm not done. Okay, 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 you got it, you got it, you got it, you got it. Oh my god, you like fight. We're making, we're making stew poke right now. Right. Tell me this bowl. Are we still filming? Yeah. It's not, it's don't worry. You just you just come as you are. Okay. Let's Tell see. me this bowl though. If there was an ethnicity to this, what would it be? 
you're Filipino. Just, it's racist. You're so <laughs> racist. Just because my family is Filipino. My family's Filipino. So I'm allowed to make that joke. Okay, we're gonna put the. No, it screams. It screams Filipino. While you finish up your onions, let me get the secret ingredient to the poke hack. I see quite another set. These guys over here, huh? These guys over here, they're talking over here. <laughs> okay, try straight to me out, please. What were you saying? I'm like a teacher in school. You know how you're passing out notes? She has to try the Nainui Poke. Oh, she has to try the... Karen, you can try the Nainui Poke. We got our Nainui Poke. We have our onions, sesame oil, and we got a little bit of shoyu. Oh crap, we need freaking Hawaiian chili pepper. Okay, so Jasmine, we're having fun talking about, uh, so you grew up in Ventura, which is in California. Yay, not boo, because she threatened to stab me with her knife. And she's Mexican, not Spanish, so that, I'm glad we cleared that up. That damn dog. You guys heard that? You guys never hear that. Uh, okay, so what was your favorite foods growing up? Um, so actually, I grew up with a lot of Filipinos, so oh. I mainly like Filipino food. Like what, like adobo, guisantes, palabo, dinigawang? Am I saying that correct? Dinigawang? Dinigawanga? Say it then. Dinigawang. That's what I meant, dinigawang. You like dinigawang? Yeah. That's the blood, yeah. Yeah, yeah, the blood meat. That one, and I like, um, what's our favorite? Sinigang. No. Well, what is um, it? Mango beans. Oh, yes! <laughs> I don't know if you pronounce it mango beans. I think it's mango beans. I said mango beans. I'm pretty sure you said mango beans. I did not. They're not mango fruit beans. They're actually like a bean that's yellow. looks like mango, but it's not mango. Okay, turn the camera off. <laughs> <laughs> no, I love mango beans. Yes, that's right. I forgot you love mango beans, too. That's my favorite. That's my favorite. That's one of my favorite things to eat. So, pro tip. Um, we're cutting up and dicing up some chili, Hawaiian chili pepper right now. After you pound dice up the chili pepper, do not use the restroom without washing your hand first. You're in for a long 12 hours, my brothers. Okay? Because if you can try to go shishi after you freaking cut up chili pepper, bro, let me just tell you, you're going to be in the emergency room visiting Jasmine. i tell you that right now. Okay. So we got Hawaiian chili pepper. That goes into the Ninui. And can we tell our teenage son to turn the music down because we got quiet on the set? 14 year old teenager I tell you, they blast the music up. Okay, cut. Somebody else on camera. <laughs> Bro, I'll tell you, go grab me a salt. She went, no need salt, I need sugar. <laughs> I'm like, no, babe, we need salt first. No, no, let me do the way I like them. That's exactly what my wife would say. Okay. Okay, ready. Onion it up. You cut all that onion in here, yeah. All of it. Yeah, there you go. Okay, and then green onion. Oh, that's way too much. <laughs> just joke, just joke, just joke. That's perfect. Okay, so we have the fish, the chili pepper, the onions. We're going to do some of this inamona roasted kukui nut. Now, some of you guys might be in America. You're like, oh, where I get the roast? Do I need to? Can I substitute? No, you can't substitute sesame seed. You can't substitute peanut. You need inamona. So just jump online, Google Inamona, and find out where to buy it. Because I have no idea where they sell it. But in Ho in Hawaii, we just go to the backyard, pick them from the tree, throw them on the hibachi, roast them, crush them, put them in a plastic container, throw them in the refrigerator. That's all you got to do, bro. That's all you got to do. Okay. We're going to take the sesame oil. Bro, how's this? I got this from um, Costco. Because we use a lot of sesame oil. So just a touch of sesame oil. We're getting there, guys. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh! Okay, there you go. That's perfect. About one tablespoon. We take a little bit of shoyu. This is a special shoyu. I made this myself. If you're in America or someplace else in the world, you might be calling this soy sauce. And you're saying it incorrectly. What do you call this? Shoyu. Oh. <laughs> She's local, that's why. Two of these guys, 
and we mix her up. And the last thing we're gonna add is just a tiny little touch. Sugar. Hawaiian salt. <laughs> Pakai. So I got this very I got this very special Pakai from Kauai. So we got this guy here, just like that. We leave that nice hole and crunchy because it's a finishing salt. And then we plate up and grind. Thank you. Wow, look at how pretty this thing is. And it smells so good. And everybody just like... So, rudder, um, Nenui, also known as, uh, I think it's called Rudderfish. We'll have to Google the, the um, English name. But it has a bad rap for having like really strong lean flavor. Which is why a lot of people don't really... It's not like a trophy or a prize fish. However, growing up, and when you're poor, like me, and you don't have money, and you gotta go catch your own fish, this is like one of the first fish I learned how to spear. And also catch on a fishing hook because they're a little bit easier to catch than some of the other fish out there. So, I pay homage to the Ninui, and we're gonna grind this guy right now. Okay. Even if it's bad, just pretend that it's super good. Okay. Okay. Oh, you didn't hear that. Okay. Yeah, are we filming? Okay. You can you trust it? Yep. I try that. Okay, here we go. Nainui. Bro. Who's talking shit about this fish? Tell me. It's pretty good. Actually, yeah, pretend like it's super duper good. Best thing you ever in your life. How do you like this fish? Super good. She's, you couldn't hear her because her her face was full of excitement. It's super good. No, it's it's it's, it's not as fishy as um if you were to um cook it. When you cook it, um all the oils come out, and as it sits and cools down, it like coagulates, and it's a super strong lean flavor, which you can't get out of your mouth. This one has. And you taste a little bit of lemon flavor. Or, Kinda. No. Well, it's pretty mild though, yeah? Yeah. The sesame oil, the spice, the Hawaiian chili pepper, and I'll show you. That's kind of your hack. Use those three ingredients to mask the lemon flavor. And it worked here in this pocket. Huh? Good job, Jasmine. Thank you. Hey, that's it for this episode of Hawaii's Only Special Guest with Jasmine. We'll see you guys next week eating some other quote-unquote rubbish fish. Thank you guys. Aloha. It's just um, it's just the kind education, communication, all the shins, revelation, salvation, salvation, miracle. You're up. Think of one. Proclamation. Proclamation. She said, Jasmine. Damn, that was a good one. Well, what are you? You're up. You're the only one that ever came up with one. Shut up. I did. What? I said East Asian. What? East Asian? <laughs> Karen, you're up. No. <laughs> are you on tomorrow? No. I'm on vacation. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you did it! Yeah, she did it. She wasn't even trying. She did it. What you said? Proclamation. I was going to say, what does it even mean? Yeah, make a proclamation, like a statement. Oh, sorry, I'm private school. Oh, we should have grew that. Oh, yeah. You can. Just take it out of the trash. trash. <laughs> yeah, you should have grown that. Yeah, it's a nice big one. Take it out of the trash. Someone killed all my green onion farm.